Hey Film Crew Designers, this is the second part on how you can create unique carousel templates. The first part is available on my IGTV. I'll be dropping the link in the description for you to watch in case you haven't. So in this one we will be discussing on how we can create slide 10 which is really really important. So we'll be jumping right into my computer. I'm gonna show you how you can do that to get more clients. So let's jump right into it. There are four to five things that you need to keep in mind while designing the last slide. Number one is that you need to have the call to actions like like, comment, share, and turn on post notifications and all this stuff. The second thing is you need to have a description of yours. The description simply means a short, a brief message of who you are. The third thing is a call to action question. Now the call to action question totally depends upon what you are talking about in the carousel and we will be writing the uh, writing the call to action question every time that it has to be different every time we create a carousel so uh, we will be creating every single thing over here so let's jump and write and start creating a design okay Yeah, another thing that you need to keep in mind is you have to have a profile picture. If you're a personal brand, then you need to have a profile picture, your profile picture on your last slide because people need to know who has created this carousel. So if you're a creator, then you can have your profile picture at last. So this one, now we will be jumping on creating the other aspects. Then for, we will be going on and typing the call to actions over here, like, comment, share and save. So, okay, so in case you want to highlight some point, like if you want people to like or just comment, like emphasizing on that, what you can simply do is change the color of comment, we will be changing it to white and then adding the stroke back. Now this will be highlighting people that they need to comment on this. So this will be another one and then what we can do it over here is just go on and type in save. We also want people to save our post right. So here we go. Now another thing is we will be right having a call to action question over here. Here we go. Do you stand or we can highlight the word stand? And here we go. <laughs> Another thing is you need to add a, an arrow or something like that in order for people to drive attention from your question to your comment. So we'll be doing that right now. call to action question and then what we can simply do is copy the description this is the description that I use on almost all my posts and then we'll be changing the alignment we'll be changing the font to Proxima Nova that's my font so we'll be choosing extra bold changing the color to black and then decreasing the size Well, what we can do another thing over here is we can add another rectangle over here but that will be just for that will be just for having a unique style that's it um, so here we go another thing since I am having another hand facing with this side so what we can do over here is I can just type in who am I change the color to black and then here we go and 
then I can simply add an arrow over here. We can create a new layer, then go to the pen tool, choose path, and then simply draw the arrow. Then right click, stroke path, brush, and here we go. Done. So, our last slide is also made. So we have completed making a carousel template. Now the next step that we will be doing is we will be creating the whole and we have already got the images right so we will be jumping in and creating the whole carousel right in front of you. Now that we have already set this everything up we will be saving this and um, once we save this every time that we come in we will be having a, our template ready so that we do not have to uh, like do it again and again. So our carousel is completely like our template is ready next step would be We'll be jumping in and creating a carousel. See you in the next one. Till then, stay safe, stay home, keep creating for a change.